teaching you how to make your own hamster DIY bin cage. Uh, for this cage, we will be having a second floor, a second level, and then we will be having a acrylic front door. So throughout this video, I will be teaching you how to make your own the step-by-step -step process of uh, making your own DIY bin cage. So let's start! Okay, so first we need to look for a suitable bin size. For this one, the dimension of this bin is around 44 by 70 cm with uh, 40 cm height. The total floor space of this bin is around 3,000 cm squared or if you convert it around 480 square inch. So internationally, the required uh, livable space for hamsters is 450 square inch. So this is considered as a uh, minimum size for the international standards. So these are the tools and materials that we need. Acrylic cutter, cutter, pencil and pens, hacksaw, sandpaper, 1000 grit, metal shears, riveter, screwdriver, drill with drill bit 2mm, 5mm, and 8mm, any tape, measuring tape, glue gun, a rotary tool, metal ruler, scroll sticks, the longer the better, sticker vinyl, galvanized wire mesh, screws, bolt and nuts, blind rivets and washers, 6mm Sintra board, hamster tubes, and acrylic door. First part, we need to cut a hole or a cover lid for a good ventilation. To do this, we need to mark the area that we will cut. Provide at least 3cm on each side for the rivets and wire mesh to fasten. Use a pen to mark the cut area. Once finished, we will use a plastic cutter first to do an initial cut on our plastic lid. Use a metal ruler to serve as your guide when cutting. This will give you a straight and clean cut. The technique here is not to do it quick. Be slow and careful when cutting. Let the plastic cutter scrape off the plastic. Once you finish your initial cut, use a normal cutter to cut through it. The initial cut made it easier for us to cut the plastic. For the wire mesh, we need a metal shears and a galvanized mesh. Measure the mesh depending on the size we need. Make sure that the mesh has an allowance of at least 2 cm on each side for the rivets to fasten the sides. Remove the excess wire on the sides to keep our hamsters from getting scratched, poked, or injured. Cut it using the metal shears. Then lay down your mesh to see the fit. Make sure that all sides has equal amount of allowance. Mark the area where you will be placing your rivets and washers using a pen. Prepare your drill and drill bit equal to the size of your blind rivet, 1 8 in diameter. Drill the marked holes on the plastic lid. Prepare your blind rivets and washers. From the top, insert first your blind rivet. Lay down your wire mesh. Make sure that it is laid down properly. Place the washer underneath the rivet and then use a riveter to fasten your rivets. It should look something like this. Then continue to do the rest. Really neat. Try to put the lid on the bin fit to fit. Second part, we will install the acrylic door in front of the plastic bin. First, we need to measure the opening window size of the acrylic door. Mark it using a pen. 
legs, we need to mark the front part. Make an offset mark going outside that is 5mm all around. This is the allowance for the door to open outward. This acrylic door was made by a laser cutting machine. It is just a panel with an offset panel inward that will serve as the door. For the bottom part of the acrylic, I extended the offset to give more sight of the acrylic. Once finished marking, drill all the holes on all corners of the marking. This will help cut the front without the corners being cracked. Then cut the front panel using plastic cutter and a normal cutter. Cut back your acrylic door to measure the fit. Now we will assemble the acrylic door. We need acrylic hinges, acrylic doorknob, and a glue, acrobat, with a syringe. Peel off the paper protection of the acrylic. Place your acrylic doorknob. Make sure not to place it too high, at least 3 cm from the edge. Then lay down your acrylic hinge. Make sure that they are aligned properly. Use a syringe to get the glue from the bottle. Put glue on the knob, then stick it on the door. Do the same process on the acrylic hinges. Let it dry for at least one hour. Next is we need to cut an acrylic strip to use as the door stopper. The length depends on the door size with a width at least 2 cm. Next, stick the stopper on the opposite side of the door. This will serve as a door stopper to prevent it from being pushed inside. Let it dry again for one hour. Next, we need to make two door locks. Cut the acrylic to this size, 20 by 30 mm. We need two pieces. Using the rotary tool, we need to fillet the sides, like a quarter circle. Use a sandpaper 1000 grit to smooth in the edges. Next, we need to drill a 5mm hole. This is the size of our bolt screw. Now place your finished acrylic door on the bin. Make sure that it is centered and aligned properly. Mark your bin for the screw holes from the acrylic window using a pen. Remove the acrylic again. 
drill the markings with 5mm drill bit. This is for the screws for the acrylic door. Then screw back the acrylic door to the bin. For the acrylic locks, place them in one of the screws in front of the glass. Do not tighten the screws too much. It should look like this. You should be able to swing it left and right. For the second level, I have created a 3D design to serve as my guide. The tools that you will be needing are Centroport 6mm, Metal Ruler, Cutter. First, cut your Centroport on your desired size. Trace the corner bottom part of the bit to get the size of the corner. Next, cut your Centroport. Check if it fits well, then continue to do the other parts. Once you finish cutting all the pieces, screw them on the bin cage. Drill first a hole on the cage, 2mm drill bit, then screw it using screws and screwdriver. Once finished attaching the second level, install the side tubes. Using a pen, mark the holes where the tubes will be installed. Then using a rotary tool with 2mm drill bit, drill the hole in a circular motion until fully cut. Clean the excess plastic using cutter or sandpaper 400 grit. Insert the tube connector on the hole, then insert the tubes. Repeat the process for the other hole. Remove the second floor again. Next, we will laminate the second level using a sticker video. Cut your vinyl based on the shape. Make sure to leave an allowance on the sides. Then remove the paper and stick it on the board slowly. 
make sure that there are no bubbles or air inside. Next, cut the side to fold the corner. Continue wrapping the board with sticker vinyl. To ensure that the sticker will not peel off, stick the sides with the glue stick using a glue gun. Next, we work on the fences. You will be needing scroll sticks, hacksaw, drill, pencil, and screws. We will cut the sticks for the vertical corner pillars. We will need 8 of them, length at least 2 cm. Measure the size, mark it using a pencil, then cut using a hacksaw. Sand off the corners to smoothen it. Use a screwdriver to screw to fix the sticks on the board. Now, let's work on the horizontal fences. Measure the size, cut, mark, then smoothen using sandpaper. Same process like the first one. Next, drill the stick of 4 holes for the screws. The screws will not go through, you will need to widen the hole by using 5mm drill bit to drill top part only. Then screw the screws. Fix it on the other stick. Then screw the sticks on the board. Make sure that the sides with the screws should, should be hidden. Use two screws so it won't wobble. Repeat the process for the other sticks.
Now, let's screw back the second level on our bin cage. Use a glue gun to seal the connection of the platforms. You can also glue gun the underneath part of the second level. Remove the middle part of the second level to add wood fences. Same as before, I need to cut vertical fences around 4 pieces. Same process, we measure, cut, use sandpaper to smoothen and unscrew it back. Attach it back to the bin. Measure the gap in between to get the size of your horizontal fences. Screw together the sticks. Then screw it to the board. Repeat the process for the other side. You can remove this part to properly screw the under part. After, screw it back to the bin. Use glue gun again to seal the gaps. Place back the side tubes. Attach the water bottle on the sides. Cut the excess part of the water bottle holder. Measure the nozzle. The nozzle hole should be 8 cm from the flooring. Drill a hole with 10 mm diameter. For the water bottle holder, make a hole for the screw caps and bolt. Make a hole also on the bin. Use a screw and bolts to fasten the holder on the bin. Now for the wheel, mark the bin where you want your wheel to be placed. Cut a rectangular shape hole for the wheel holder. procedure like what we did for the front hole for the glass of the bin.
Then insert your wheel spinner. Repeat the process for the other side. Then, return the front acrylic door and make sure to screw them properly. Now we're done. So there you go, your DIY hamster bin cage with second floor. As you'll notice, the second floor looks like the uh, staircase of Titanic. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you really like this video, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. For our Filipino hamster keepers, we would like to invite you to join our Facebook group, Philippine Hamster Keepers. So if you are interested, just kindly join us. This group is exclusively for Filipino hamster keepers here in the Philippines. If you are interested to join, kindly join. I hope you share this video to your friends and your hamster friends so that they'll have an idea on how to make their own hamster cake. Alright? So that's it. I'm your hamster guy. Hope to see you on my next video.